So I'm servicing this RTU and I come to the side and it doesn't really look too bad. Problem is, is then I'm, as I'm inspecting, I'm sure you guys could see, I know my camera throws things up, my flashlight throws things, but let's see right here on the top. A lot of people gonna be like, that's not a real crack. But it is. It's a crack, right? There. I'm trying not to let the light on my flashlight throw too much off, but that is a crack. Right at the base. But then nowhere else. I mean I got these spots here on this heat exchanger. Right here. So you got like here, you got here, but they're really, they're, they're, it's not going to break through or anything like that. So I checked that along the seams I looked, I do have that one hairline crack thing, which may not actually be like the end of the world along there. It's a little getting cancerous, but, but then we come into here this whenever you see it's all rusty like that that's not good and then you come into your firebox and you could just see that it is rusty down there and besides being rusty you got cancerous growth on your heat exchanger interior wall as you can see so I'm gonna use a snake and go in to this because I want to just see I'm not seeing anything in here I do see that one crack but it seems solid when I pushed on it so I got this rigid and I'm gonna start sending that snake in All right, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do this. But let's see. So here, I get the snake in to here. And you can see the seam is rusted up. Now that I'm in, it's easier. But just trying to get it started was not. You can see all the rust on that wall see the welding seam not yet but it's soon to be so let's go further in and what do we got here what do we got what are we looking at besides a big mess There's the seam. What do we got right there? What, what's that? What is that? Okay, nothing yet. Okay, so let's go further in. Can't. Okay, I hit the end. But. This wall. I'm gonna get rid of one of these pieces because it just makes it too hard. All right, this should be easier. So, I mean, right here. Is the face. So let's go. There. Ah. 
<laughs> so. Yeah. Ready to see. Is that another crack almost in the weld? Let's go further. Well, let me bend this. Boom. So that weld joint. Oh, and we got spots on the bottom. What do we have there? This is, this is the first one. Well, you can see a lot of rusty spots. Okay, so now we're hitting. The 90, um, what's... Whatever I'm looking at here, it does not look great, but... Hard to accuse that being any more... Let's see, so many guys go on this... Man, look at that. All this, I gotta be close to the end, close to the ripples, because there's the wall. So, this is telling me, like right there, that looks like the bottom of that tube. So, That's this tube. That's either the bottom or the top. Hard to tell where I'm filming it, but kind of makes sense because I got over here <clears throat> these rusty spots. I mean, breaking through. You can see over here has overheated from the discoloration. Back wall. Yep, again. This sure underneath. You guys can see I can't. What am I seeing as I look up? That's the bracket. Okay. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, the seam back here does look pretty bad as I'm coming further back. But I don't think it's soft enough to poke through. So, let me just get my flashlight. <clears throat> yeah, no. Yeah, well, I did find the one crack. And it's just going to get worse. Over here, so... I will be writing it up because of that little hairline. Not the worst I've seen, but not the best. I doubt anything will push through that, will push through here. But I mean, when you look in it, this looks bad. So, till next time.